one more time. Hi, my name is Celine, a writer, a traveler, and plant powered. Join me on my quest for incredible landscapes, fascinating stories, and delicious plant based eats. This is Plant Power Pinay. Hello guys! Welcome back to another episode of Plant Power Pinay. Gaya ng sinabi ko, the previous episode where we made four ingredient pita breads, this episode we will be making a couple of dips that would go well with your pita breads. The first one is a Pinoy version of baba ganoush. Pwede natin siyang tawaging baba ganern. Ang base niya ay eggplants. Meron siyang mga familiar Filipino flavors. The second one is a kalabasa dip. And yun, tara! Simulan na natin! For the first dip, which we shall now call baba ganern, we'll be needing an eggplant, a red bell pepper, sorry, buong medyo matagal na sa ref namin yung bell pepper, a green bell pepper. If you only have red bell peppers, that's fine. You can use two red bell peppers. If you only have green bell peppers, you can use two green bell peppers. Cloves of garlic, calamansi juice, and a dash of salt. For the second dip, we'll be needing a cup of kalabasa that I've already peeled, deseeded, and cubed it. Another piece of red bell pepper, which I already cut in roughly one inch pieces. Olive oil, a dash of pepper, water, and cumin powder. Going to get a baking pan. The oven is already running at 200 degrees Celsius. Going to take our eggplant. Tapos, stab it with a fork para hindi siya mag-explode in the oven. I'm gonna put our red bell pepper, our squash, the cut up red bell pepper, and also the green bell pepper. We'll be roasting these in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the vegetables. So, tara! For the first dip, yung baba ganern, you can actually make it without an oven. If you have a gas stove, pwede niyong testahin yung talong over the gas fire para yung pag ginagawa pag gumagawa ng tortang talong. And as well as the red bell pepper. So you can do that. That's actually quicker. We're gonna wait for our vegetables to be done. See you in half an hour. Here is what our tray of vegetables look like. We'll start with the eggplant dip. Siyempre, kailangan palamigin nyo muna yung mga vegetables para hindi kayo mapasok. Babalitan natin yung eggplant. garlic kanina, I had it minced. If you like it to be more garlicky, then feel free to use more. This particular recipe is only good for a single serving. I don't recommend batch making this kasi meron siyang raw garlic. That could easily be remedied by roasting the garlic or using garlic powder. This is the best that my blender can do 
you're gonna leave it chunky. But if you have a conventional blender or a food processor, you can make this smoother. It's the cumin that gives this dip an interesting flavor. I'm gonna transfer it. This is our kalabasa dip. This was actually inspired by the dip we had at Kurma in Kamigin. I think it's pretty close. Dun sa na natikman namin. Gonna clean up, then we'll set up our dish. Okay, earlier while we were waiting for the vegetables to roast, gumawa ng fresh batch ng pita bread. Kasi na ubus na namin yung ginawa natin last time. Yung half. I actually fried in olive oil. The other two, I made sa air fryer. Just to see what ano it And it ended up being crispier. It's a biscuity. It's not pang roll, pang wrap. But good for dipping. So let's set up the dish. I also baked some TVP. Because this dish will be our dinner. Yeah, I wanted to make it more filling. These are the pita breads that I fried in olive oil. These are the ones... Oops. <laughs> that I made in the air fryer. The other one, I already tore it up. The air fried breads actually remind me of something. Something I ate in my childhood and I can't remember what it is. Anyway. Looks like a Mediterranean dish. For recap, we have our eggplant dip and our calabasa dip. Some TVP, air fried pita bread, our regular pita bread. So let's try our dips. The eggplant dip is more Pinoy. It has the tanginess of the halamansi, the savory of garlic, and you know, the familiar flavor of eggplant. While yung Yung kalabasa dip has the sweetness of kalabasa and the very distinctive flavor of cumin, which makes it taste Mediterranean. Well, that's it. That's it for this episode of Plant Power Pinay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you have made any of the recipes here in my channel, please tag me on social media. It's at Plant Power Pinay on Instagram and Plant Power Pinay on Facebook. Thank you and stay safe and well. See you next time.